what's up? DMV Foodie back again. So today, I've been missing brunch a little bit since we've been in quarantine. I'm going to try to bring you guys shrimp and grits. Some good shrimp and grits. Now, since we can't hit day parties, get out downtown D.C. And uh, hopefully you guys like it. Let me know if you try it. So the classic essentials of shrimp and grits. Simple ingredients. Keep it, keep it easy for you guys at home. Of course, old-fashioned grits, you got to get the kind that takes 20, 30 minutes because if not, your flavor is going to suffer. Uh, of course, lemon juice, a little acid, parsley, you know, jalapenos, green onions, scallions for garnish, uh, red peppers. I do have both a shallot and a sweet yellow onion. Some heavy cream, that's, that's going to bring that thickness, that, that creaminess that you like when you think about shrimp and grits, especially from a restaurant. Thick cut turkey bacon, add that depth of flavor when you first start out. And some seafood stock. I normally don't find this in the store. I was planning on using veggie stock, even chicken stock, but seafood stock, I'm looking forward to this. It'll definitely, hopefully make it even better. And of course, I got some large jumbo, I think it's 21 count shrimp per pound. So de-vein, de-shelled, clean, still got the tail on. I just think presentation at the end looks better with the tail. And of course, uh, I will be throwing quite a bit of butter in the dish, but other than that, uh, let's get rolling. Let's get cracking. So starting off chopping your veggies. Um, chopping the red pepper first. You know, just make sure you're taking all the seeds out. Kind of quick and easy way I do it. Just cut the top off. <clears throat> While you're cutting it, you want to make sure they're big enough where you can still taste them. They won't cook down too much and disappear in the grits. All right, so when you get to the jalapenos, Something I like to do, I kind of picked it up, in all honesty, watching, watching the Food Network. Uh, but I actually cut down the side of them. Uh, it makes it a little bit easier to not use the seeds. And also, I'm not wearing gloves, so the last thing you want to do is touch a jalapeno and then go to touch your face, your eyes. Rough. Rough, cuz. So, take your jalapeno. That's what you're left with, just seeds in the middle part anyway. And now you're able to dice it real thin, so you still get some spice factor in your dish, but you actually end up with uh, very small pieces, so nothing overwhelming, nothing that kind of takes over your palate. All right, so next I'm going to use a mixture, uh, a little bit of both. What the fuck is this called? Brown. <laughs> Charlotte, god damn, I thought they called it some other shit. All right, so next, go ahead and peel your sweet onion. I say cut two rounds. I'm going to use a little bit of both sweet onion and uh, some shallot. So instead of using one whole onion, use a mixture of the two. Go ahead and peel your shallot. So got to cut some, some scallions up for the garnish at the end. I know a lot of you see that, that pan sauce or that, brown, that brownish reddish sauce that go in the shrimp with the shrimp and grits. I, I personally use turkey bacon, a little bit of uh, olive oil to start that sauce off just to get some. That's, that's where you get that extra depth of flavor. Put, that's why I put my own little spin on it, the turkey bacon. So you want to chop this up. I'm still big enough for it to crisp up and you, where you can see it in the dish um, and you can taste it when you get that small piece, but still small enough as to where it doesn't start to take over or look like a bacon and shrimp dish. All right, so first you want to bring your water for your grits to a boil. Please make sure you salt it. Not no little pinch, uh -huh. at least a, a teaspoon or two, teaspoon and a half, depending on how much you're doing. I'm personally doing two cups of grits, so I'm using... Uh, eight cups of water, so about uh, yeah, that's about the ratio. Uh, go ahead and pour it in. I actually did add my own seasoning blend to the water as well. A little secret, can't tell y'all everything. They will sit in here for I say 20 to 30 minutes. Start checking them around 20 minutes. Uh, please make sure you stir them well the entire time. So once they're good and mixed in, you're going to bring them back to a boil. And uh, go ahead and lower the temperature, throw a lid on, and let them simmer. All right, once your oil gets hot enough, I'm going to go ahead and start adding your bacon. Now, um, 
on medium. This is the way the size I cut the bacon up. I say it probably take about anywhere from six to eight minutes to cook. I mean, you can eye it. it it's all personal preference. So, and all honestly, just let it get crisp enough and let it let it sort of flavor that oil in the pan. Of course, we got to start seasoning. So, a couple of turns of fresh sea salt and a couple of turns of cracked black pepper. Remember to season throughout your cooking. Uh, that way at the end, you're not worrying about trying to have too much to do or trying to adjust your flavor so much. All right, so as you can see, once your grits start to thicken up, uh, make sure your heat is all the way to low. And now you can start adding some butter. Because I am doing two cups of grits, I will be adding six tablespoons of butter. Once you get your butter nice and mixed in, you can go ahead and turn the heat down. Actually, you can turn the heat all the way off. I say add about a cup and a half total of cheese. However, because I'm using pre-shredded, I'm gonna switch it up. So I use about half this, uh, I think it's one cup per bag. Yeah, I'm using about half the bag of shredded cheddar. And I'm, I'm gonna also go with half a bag of Colby Jack. All right, last but not least, for that last bit of creaminess on these grits, add just over a third cup or just under two thirds cup of heavy cream. That'll give you exactly what you're looking for. All right, so once you get your bacon nice and crispy, get it done, move it, move it with a slotted spoon or some tongs. I use some tongs to a paper towel. Let some grease drain off. Uh, next, up your temperature to medium high. Now this is a pound of shrimp, like I mentioned earlier. At the medium high temperature, already preheated pan give it about two minutes aside uh, just as it starts to turn pink uh, you want to catch it right before it starts curling up now this is the only time i'm gonna turn them and you don't want to start getting confused that's how it's real that's how that's what makes it easy to overcook stuff all right so once you get your shrimp done out the pan uh, go ahead and add I, I personally added another two tablespoons of butter and give you that flavor now you can go ahead and add all your veggies, so red pepper, onion, shallot, and uh, one diced jalapeno. I don't really got a time limit for these, but I say cook until they start to brown. All right, and lastly, I chopped a diced a clove of garlic. Go ahead and add that in there as well. So if anything, I say get these about somewhere between five and eight minutes. All right. You'll know when they start to cook down, start to reduce a little bit. Uh, the onions start to change color, get a little translucent. So once you get the veggies to the color you're looking for, go ahead and crank your heat back up to high. Uh, like I said earlier, I did. I was lucky enough to find seafood stock, especially in this quarantine. It's hard to find anything in the grocery store you're looking for, but I'm gonna add a cup of it. Might do a little extra because I do like that sauce over top of my grits, but I say cup and a quarter, cup and a quarter. So let this cook for about three to five minutes. It should reduce, thicken up slightly, not too much. Uh, you will notice the level go down. And uh, after that, you're just about ready to eat. All right, so as you can see, your sauce level kind of went down a little bit. Uh, once it has, go ahead and add your shrimp back to the pan. Uh, let them sort of heat through. And you can go ahead and do the same thing with your turkey bacon from your paper towel. Reduce your heat to medium. And just make sure you get some of the sauce on everything. All right, once you get it all plated up, got to be a little fancy at the end with some garnish. I'm going to go ahead and add some green onions to it. A little bit of scallions. Uh, for presentation presentation is everything now i gotta try it it's been looking good i've been smelling it this whole time so i see how it turned out mm. the seafood stock definitely makes a difference in the taste i'm just a fan of having a jus or a sauce a pan sauce with shrimp and grits anyway grits still cheesy shrimp well seasoned get the depth of flavor from the turkey bacon coming through great dish overall
Thank y'all for joining me. DMV Foodie signing out. Make sure before you go, you like what you saw, like the video, subscribe, hit the bell icon. Uh, stick with me. I'll be making many more of my favorites. DMV Foodie signing out.